The eruption that we are all waiting for in the Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland has not happened yet. We are seeing earthquakes all along the volcanic systems along the rift valleys that form the plate boundary between the Eurasia and the North America. Waves of the earthquakes are coming and going and they are most limited to this peninsula. You see even the six hours uh, caterpillar effect that I suspect in my opinion related to tide. What we see here in this chart again up to today is that the time takes from the accumulation of the magma until it overflows toward the Sunuka craters. Now we are close to 20 days almost, is less one, one or two days less than that. And then eruption in the previous February eruption was around uh, uh, that time, which has shown that uh, diagram by the purple rectangle, as you can see here. We have a few days until there, but According to the Meteorological Office of Iceland, uh, we will have an eruption in the Storoskogofell or between the, that area and Hagofell along the practically Sundunka 1 and 2 eruptions in the December and the February 2023 and 24. On this map, you can see that the magma level has reached the previous eruption in the uh, February, which is around 9 million cubic meter of magma, it will erupt in that area any moment. But the, the depth of the earthquake doesn't show us that. The every day half a million cubic meter is added to the what is already under the Sorsengi uh, volcanic system. And that area acts like a reservoir. We are talking about a depth of 10 kilometers. Practically at that depth, the earth crust lithosphere acts plastic, is malleable, it actually can flex. And it works in this case like a, a reservoir. It transfers the magma to the higher level when it is full. It's like a tap, according to Professor Thorvald and Thordatson. And But in that case, why we have not that eruption yet? Of course, uh, I'm, I think that the tide has an effect. Full moon, when it is, you know, the, we have the spring tide in that case, has an effect. The next, uh, uh, you know, uh, spring tide is during the new moon in the 10th of the March. The effect of the tide, in my opinion, on this uh, lithospheric uh, uh, part of the Reckoness Peninsula is like the effect of the waves on the segmented floating bridges. You, they can rise and go down. And in that process, they pinch out actually some of the, you know, magma upward. Of course, the thinning of the crust rises the magma, um, which is formed by the uplift of the mantle, and then it can erupt when it reaches the surface. Uh, we see similar to this effect on the Saturn and on the Reckonus Peninsula. I believe it is similar to that. Volcanic systems on the Enceladus, the satellite of the Saturn, and at the Reckoness Peninsula, in my opinion, look very similar. Considering the body center of the Earth Moon system is actually is, is inside the Earth mantle. It's like a spoon is spinning and is tearing the interior guts of the planet Earth and is affecting also the thin and weak crust, shattering it and flexing it. And it reaches maximum effect during the full moon and the new moon. It's nothing to do with the light of the moon or, or the gravity of the moon sucking up the magma. That is not la like that. It's actually flexing the earth crust, which through it, magma will erupt.